Hi, I'm Annalise from Maine. Before I continue, please like and subscribe. Everyone who knew me thought I was the luckiest girl ever. I was born to millionaire parents. I had tons of friends, and with my long, lovely hair, I looked like a princess out of a freaking Disney movie. But I was also living with a dark secret. I had a condition called Werner Syndrome. That meant I would start aging really fast when I got to high school. I'd be a teenager with gray hair and wrinkles. The doctors predicted it would happen around the time I turned 16. Each birthday was just another reminder of the ticking clock. Come on, Annalise, have a slice of cake. Or at least put on the costume I bought you. It's Halloween too, remember? Is it an old witch costume with a white-haired wig and an old lady mask? No thank you. One day when I was 14, I was getting ready for school when my live-in servant and BFF, Marie, came running into the room. Oh my god, did you hear the news? Raven, the famous model, is going to be a new student at our school! <coughs> and I hear he just broke up with his girlfriend, so he's single. <coughs> Ugh, you know models aren't my type. I'm more into nerdy, bookish guys. Whatever, he's mine then. But maybe you should take these next couple of years to date a jock or model. I mean, your boyfriend choices will be kind of limited afterwards. Most guys don't want to date girls who look like 80-year-olds. Ugh, let's not talk about that right now. I still have some time and I plan on living my life to the fullest until then. I lent Maria some of my nicest clothes before we went off to school. She made me promise never to tell anyone she was a servant and in return, she promised not to tell anyone about my condition. Our little pact worked perfectly for me. Later that day, I was studying in the library when suddenly, I felt someone watching me. I turned to see some guy dressed in fancy clothes and earrings snapping pictures of me. Don't mind me. I'm designing some jewelry and I'm just photographing your bracelet. Dude, you can't just go around photographing people without their consent. Excuse me, do you know who I am? I'm a popular model. Well, I quit modeling a year ago, but now I own a successful jewelry business. I can do what I want. Holy crud, it was Raven, the guy Marie had been talking about. I don't care who you are. The rules of basic respect still apply to you. With that, I pushed Raven's phone away from me and it ended up shattering on the floor. Are you kidding me? I had all of my photos in there. Why would you do that? We both got kicked out of the library after that. Raven gave me dirty looks whenever I walked by him. So what? A hot guy was taking your picture. I'd kill for that kind of attention. No, you wouldn't. That guy was nothing but a creepy jerk. And I don't feel bad at all for breaking his phone. Later that week, I was in ceramics class feeling totally relaxed when Raven snuck up behind me and told me I was doing everything wrong. Hey, you're not the teacher. Well, I've been doing this for years, so you could learn something from me. First things first, you're supposed to cup your hands like this. Raven's hand started guiding mine, and for some reason, I felt my heart race. Then suddenly, some girl burst into the classroom glaring at Raven. I've been trying to track you down for days. Breaking up with me was a huge mistake. You are so gonna regret it. To my horror, the girl ran over to Raven and jumped on him. Get off of me right now, or I'm gonna call the cops. But the girl had Raven's wrists pinned to the floor. So I stepped in and lifted her off him with all my strength. Luckily, our teacher called security before Raven's ex could attack me. Wow, you saved me from getting murdered by my psycho ex. I owe you one. Not really. I already smashed your phone and didn't pay you for it. I'm sorry about that. Nah, I should have asked your permission before photographing your bracelet. We got off on the wrong foot. How about we start over? I could go for that. And I guess I could use your help with the bowl I'm making. Raven laughed and I felt my heart race again. What was that about? I decided not to dwell on it and from that day, we became good friends. I learned Raven had to quit modeling to focus on his studies and his jewelry making business. Modeling was just something his parents made him do. He was the most creative person I have ever met. And over time, I developed feelings for him, but I never said anything. I knew he didn't feel the same way about me. One evening, I came home late after exercising, and when I walked into the living room, I almost fell over in shock. Raven and Marie were kissing on the couch. Um, what's going on? Can you believe it? Raven and I are dating now. I've had a crush on him for ages, and I finally got the courage to ask him out, and he said yes. I guess it's just confusing because you guys haven't really talked much or hung out before. Uh, well, it all kind of happened really fast. 
Maybe it was fate or something. Don't worry, Annalise. Just because Marie is my girlfriend now doesn't mean we can't hang out. Don't worry about her, babe. She's obviously happy for us. Marie started kissing Raven again. I just wanted to tell her to get away from him, the guy that I loved. But I didn't want Raven finding out how I felt about him. I cried myself to sleep for weeks and tried to hide how heartbroken I was from Raven and Marie. Then one morning, I was in the courtyard when I saw a mob of girls squealing by the parking lot. I walked over to see what was going on, and that's when Raven came running up to me. Please, kill me right now. My idiot brother Grant is on vacation from modeling school and is coming to visit. I can't believe my parents favor that idiot over me now, all because I quit modeling. Raven looked really upset and I was about to comfort him when suddenly his brother came right up to me and wow, he was gorgeous. My oh my, Raven. Is this the new lady in your life you were telling me about? No, this is Annalise, my best friend. My girlfriend should be here any minute. So, you're telling me this girl is single? How would you like to go to Italy for a day in my private jet? No way, she's not about to let a stranger take her to a foreign country. How about you let her decide? I kind of liked how protective Raven was over me, even if it was just because he hated his brother. But as soon as Marie arrived, Raven had to go and Grant continued to treat me like a queen. And by the end of the day, he asked me on a date and I said yes. He was lovely, what was the harm in it? Plus, I wanted to move on from Raven. But when Raven found out I was going out with his brother, he was enraged. How could you do this? Going out with Grant is the worst betrayal ever. Why? You're already dating my best friend. Me dating your brother isn't that different. Except my brother is my enemy that steals all of my parents' love. And you're my best friend. It's just too much. Okay, okay. If it's that important to you, I won't date Grant. But the damage had already been done. Raven blocked me on all social media, and whenever we were in school, he totally avoided me. There was nothing I could do to win him back. So I started going out with his brother and tried to forget about him. Except after a few weeks, I discovered that even though Grant was handsome and sweet, we had nothing in common. One afternoon, I was sitting at this boring lunch he'd taken me to, and I made up a lame excuse to leave. I decided to take a walk on the beach when suddenly I spotted someone there. It was Raven. What are you doing here? Please don't yell at me. I just wanted to say hi. I wasn't going to yell at you. The truth is, I miss you. And I totally support you dating my brother if it makes you happy. Just like you supported me dating Marie. Also, I'm collecting seashells to make a necklace out of. Want to help me? I'd love to. Raven and I spent hours collecting shells, and as the sun started to set, Raven asked a stranger to take pictures of us with our bag of shells. You two make such a sweet couple. Actually, I have a girlfriend and she has a boyfriend, but she's still one of the most important people in the world to me. Raven put his arm around me as the lady took our picture, and I just wished he could just hold me like that forever. I was still thinking about him when I got home, but just as I walked through the front door, I saw a shadow come towards me and I jumped. Where were you, Annalise? I'm just curious. Um, I was with Raven. He decided he wanted to be friends again. Well, it's just that I was on Instagram and I saw Raven posted a picture of you two collecting seashells together and his arm is around you? How very romantic. Marie, it wasn't like that. I ran into him by accident. I know it may be hard to believe that any guy would like me better than you, but guess what? Raven prefers this dirty servant over your royal highness. And in case you weren't keeping track, your 16th birthday is in 10 days. I guess then the princess's hair will finally turn gray and her face will turn wrinkled and ugly. Just because I'll look different doesn't mean my life has to be over. I can still be happy. Marie just smirked at me and walked off, but her words really got to me. I woke up every morning filled with dread and counted down the days till my birthday. Raven could tell something was wrong and he kept asking me about it at lunch. She's just distracted studying for exams. Plus, why do you care about what's going on with her? Because she's my friend? What kind of question is that, Marie? Annalise, I know something's been up with you. Why can't you just tell me? I wanted to tell Raven about my condition so badly, but I was worried I'd freak him out, so I kept my mouth shut. On the night of the birthday, Marie told me she had a surprise for me in the living room. I've been kind of hard on you these past few weeks. I just got jealous when Raven posted that photo, but we're still besties and I made you a present, perfect for Halloween. 
Wow, that's really sweet. But when Marie showed me my present, my stomach did a somersault. She'd made a doll that looked exactly like me, wearing my exact clothes. She also had pins in her. I had to leave the sewing pins in place to hold her together. I thought we could have a ceremony to say goodbye to the young Annalise. All little girls grow up eventually and get older, right? Before I could answer, Marie tossed the doll into the fireplace. Oh my god! Okay, you're freaking me out. I think you want my condition to ruin my life. Because, I don't know, you're jealous of me or something? Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. All I know is, it's my time to be the pretty and popular one now, not just your little servant girl. I couldn't be around her for another minute, so I went upstairs to watch MSA videos and collect my thoughts. After that night, I avoided Marie and Raven and told Grant I couldn't date him anymore. I even refused to go to school. Too much was happening too fast. And a few months later, I started aging and my hair slowly started turning white. So everywhere I went, I wore a scarf around my hair and face. Then one day, someone knocked at the door and my heart jumped to see that it was Raven. Annalise, is that you? Why are you dressed like that? Just leave me alone, please. You won't understand. You know what? No. You've ghosted me for months, and I came here to check to see if you were okay. Suddenly, I started to cry and told Raven everything. Then I took off my layers to reveal what I looked like. Well, what do you think? How could you keep a secret like this from me? Annalise, I have to go. This is just too much. With that, Raven walked out the door, and I felt totally shaken up. He had left because he thought I was hideous, and I was. Someone knocked on my door, and it was Mom, Annalise. Marie won't be working for us anymore. I discovered that she's mentally ill and wanted to hurt you. Marie made over a thousand dolls of you with pins in them. I guess she was trying to do some evil spell and I found them in her closet. She's in an asylum now. I was lost for words. I knew Marie was jealous of me and had been acting weird lately, but I had no idea it had gone so far. At least her new boyfriend is visiting her. His name is Grant, so I guess she's his problem now. Wait, Marie was dating Grant? Did that mean Raven and Marie had broken up? I wanted to call him and ask him, but after the way he'd left me last night, I didn't want to speak to him. But later that night, I heard a knock on my window, and it was Raven. What are you doing here? I thought I'm too ugly for you to look at. What are you talking about? I never said you were ugly. I was just shocked that you'd kept your condition a secret. I am so sorry I made you feel that way. Can you come outside with me, please? Raven sounded really sincere, so I agreed to sit with him in our front yard. I'm sorry I kept this a secret from you. I was just worried I'd scared you away. You could never scare me away. Suddenly, Raven took my hand and looked into my eyes. You know, I broke up with Marie a couple of months ago. I've been wanting to end things with her for ages. And since you broke up with Grant, I guess those two got together. What do you mean you've been wanting to break up with Marie? I never loved her. The truth is, I loved you, but I thought you didn't feel the same way. So when Marie asked me out, I just said yes. She was pretty, and she was your best friend, so I'd still be close to you. Raven, I've been in love with you ever since we became friends. I just never had the courage to tell you. And I knew this would happen, so I didn't think you'd want me anyway. But I do still want you. And Annalise, your hair looks like starlight.